Hey everyone, in today's app of the day, I wanna show you a coding app called Solo Learn. And it's a mobile coding app so you can learn code in bite-sized lessons on the go. So that's a little bit different than all the other apps that primarily make the desktop experience the first experience. So Code Academy, for example, is a great website that I've used in the past to learn coding, but you have to sit down and dedicate some time. Even though they do have a mobile app, I like this experience a little bit better. So I wanted to make a video to show you exactly how this works and walk you through the process. And as every app of the day video that I make on this channel, I'll give you my review from one to five at the end of the video. Let's jump into the app store. Again, you could click the link in the description below this video too, and look for Solo Learn and download and open it. And you do have to log in and sign up for this because it's gonna keep track of your progress. So you could use Google or Facebook or your email here to log in. And then once you're all set up, this is the interface of the app. Let me just briefly show you what you have here. So on the home page on the learn icon here, you could basically select from all these different languages here. So if you wanna learn about web development, you could choose between HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and all these down the road programming languages you have all these as well java python all these are labeled so when you select one it adds it right here on top to this box so i selected html went through some lessons and he added it to my course right on top underneath that you have code coaches so you could go through those as well and then you could have ask anything series here you could see some of those and then some other programming languages, some of the essentials for development. What I really like about this app beyond the way it teaches you coding is the ability to make this a social network and communicate with other people that are going through the process with you. So on the bottom, you have your menu here, but right now I'm on the learn, but there's a discuss section where you could see all discussions taking place. And these are also available within each codes. So when you jump into learning for HTML, for example, right here, I could learn from other people here by just pressing the icon on top to learn. I'll come back here in a second, but that's the discussion tab that gives you a lot of resources and learning from other people. And then underneath that, you have a feed. This works like Facebook or Instagram feed where you could learn a lot here about the, what other people are up to, but it's basically a social network. So that's kind of unique to this app that it brings social networking and learning coding on the same app here. Then you have your code platform here where you can see other people's code and run the code to see what they've done with their code. And you have a playground here where you could start challenges and based on what you learn, practice coding on this playground. So those are the things on the bottom you could explore for yourself. But learning is ultimately the essential reason why you would wanna use this app. So let me just show you how that works. Once you pick any lessons, so for HTML, for example, I'll jump back in. It breaks the lessons into really simple bite-sized lessons. So if I go to the overview of HTML, as you could see, it's broken into five easy to consume categories here. And if I select one of those, it basically gives me a text layout of what each uh, little lesson is all about. On top, I could change the size right here if I wanted to make it a little bigger. I could bookmark it here. That's the bookmark option right next to that. And then you have your discussion. Typically, everything I went through has a discussion tab so you can see if people have other questions about it. And you can always press the up arrow to share it with other people. So that's what this page has to offer. And as you go through, other lessons unlock themselves. So you have to go through the structure. But what I really liked are these quizzes. After each little session, when you press continue, it gives you quizzes to make sure you comprehend what you just learned. If you don't, you could either ask a question on top or you could go back and learn more and read it one more time to make sure you understand it. So what is the correct extension for HTML files? So right here, I could put .html and then press check and it's gonna tell me if it's correct or not. And there's comments mostly about every single question and then you could press continue to move to the next one. So testing your comprehension like that is one of the best ways I learn and I think a lot of people learn the same way. So it's really great to have that at every single step and not learning a whole chunk of things and then having to remember them. This just teaches you a bite-sized lesson and then tests you on that right when you learn it. Also on the homepage, if you press your profile icon on the top left here, you could see a little bit about you and your experiences, your badges, and this is basically the overall view of the social networking aspect of it. And the app does have a pro version. So this is supported by ads right now, the free version. So you could upgrade to a pro version and then the pro version will remove those ads and give you some advanced options. So use the free version, see if you like it. And ultimately you could upgrade to the pro version if you want to remove the ads 
and get a little bit of more advanced training. I hope you found this app of the day video useful. I'm gonna give this app a solid five out of five. I love apps that are so easy to use and so easy to learn with. And this is one of them that is just simply laid out and everything from my experience has worked great. So I'm gonna th go through a lot of these programming languages to get the basic understanding of all of them. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next app of the day video. Thanks for watching.